Nothing sucks more than having a baby and three or four months later you still have that pooch. You still look like you're three, four, even five months pregnant. And sometimes this is us a few months after pregnancy and sometimes we are left this way a few years after pregnancy. But my friend, you're in luck because there are three exercises that you can do that will make a huge, I mean ginormous difference in that little post baby pooch, whether it's been a few months or a few years, you can still do something about it. I've had tons and tons of clients get amazing results from these three exercises, whether it's been months or years. So you want to see these three exercises? Check this out. MichelleMarieFit.com and today I am showing you three exercises that may change your life. Well, maybe not change your life, but definitely change your midsection. So here we go. I'm going to show you three exercises that you can do two, three times a week and you are going to get amazing results. They're very simple. You can do these from home in just a few minutes or you can even do this at a gym in the middle of your workout, before your workout, or after your workout. So let's get right to it. The first exercise is leg drops. All of these exercises are really working on the deep lying muscles of the belly, the transverse. So we're not really doing any crunches. We don't want to worry about doing any crunches when it comes to really tightening this up. But we are going to do exercises like this. If this is a 90, 90 degree leg drops. Lie down. First thing you're going to do is you are going to rock your pelvis, press that belly down. You're going to lift your legs. And then depending on where you are in strength in your core, you can either do one leg at a time, slowly bending from the hip. You see I'm not straightening the knee. I'm bending from the hip, pressing the belly down, no arch here in the back, and pulling up, really pressing down. And then you can alternate slow and controls, really pressing that belly down towards the floor making sure you don't change the angle of the leg, really pressing down, rocking that pelvis up, and pulling up. So we'll do it with both legs, shoulders back, press that belly down slowly, and you only go down as far as you can control it. If you start arching here, then you bring your legs back up. So only go down as far as you can control that back. As soon as you feel that arch, you pull back up. Okay, those are 90 degree leg drops. I would say you can start with anywhere from five to 10 reps. That's actually pretty hard. So start there. The next exercise is pipe ups. So again, lying down, bring your arms straight up, press that belly down, slight bends in the legs. You are going to explode up, and then slowly you are gonna roll your pelvis up, and one vertebrae at a time, really staying crunched in, you are going to Come down one little vertebrae at a time. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, press that belly down and explode up all the way up. And again, rock the pelvis, crunch in and slowly one little bit at a time. You come down, really driving that belly down towards the floor. Big inhale, exhale, press that belly down and pop up. I'll do two more, slow and controlled, big inhale, and one more, press up, and slowly pull that belly in, nice and controlled, good job. And the last exercise is the cat. This exercise I love to do during pregnancy, but it's also really great for after. So check this out, you're going to get into a quadruped position, now don't be embarrassed with this exercise. You do have to blow your belly out, but it's okay. It's gonna do a lot of good. So you're gonna take a deep breath, inhale, and let your belly just drop. I think you can see my belly just expand, and then you're gonna exhale, and pull that belly in as far in and up as you can, and then big inhale, let the belly drop, and big exhale, let it take about five seconds, Hold it five seconds, and big inhale. You see I don't move my spine up and in. Keep it neutral, big inhale. Let the belly expand, and big exhale, slow and 
pull it in and hold. So you can do anywhere from 5 to 10 or even 15 of those. Remember, it takes 5 seconds to inhale, 5 seconds to exhale, and 5 seconds hold once you pull that belly in. Does it feel like a burn like when you do a crunch? But all these three exercises are amazing for really getting rid of that pooch, strengthening that transverse, those deep line muscles of the core, and really helping you get rid of the pooch. Like I said, I've had amazing results with tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of women who have had that postpartum pooch even years after. So make sure to try these because they are awesome. Okay guys, so these three exercises you can do, like I said, one to three times a week. You can start from anywhere you want, from 10 to 20 reps. Remember, it doesn't matter where you're starting, as long as you are progressing. You will see that every week, or every time you do it, you will get stronger, and little by little, that pooch will get smaller and smaller and smaller, and you will feel so good about yourself again in your clothes. So before I go, make sure that you click on that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss any of the new videos I'm uploading. I took a little break uh, during my pregnancy, but I'm back and I've got tons of stuff for you. So make sure you click on that subscribe button and go ahead and check out my website, michellemariefit.com. You will find tons and tons of resources there that will help you lose weight, get fit and toned, and enjoy the whole journey. That's what I'm all about having you enjoy the whole journey of getting fit. So check it out, there's tons of recipes in there that you can cook for you and your family and lose weight while eating delicious food. So don't miss it. Also, follow me on Pinterest because I pin everything and you don't wanna miss it all. I have it organized for you, for you right on every board. So go there right now and check it out and I'll see you guys again soon.